I didn't even see y'all there. Well, I'm glad you're here. Today we're going to check out some coop poop organic fertilizer or uh, chicken poop fertilizer. Give a quick mow on the yard and then we'll check this out. We got a secret box. We got to see what's inside of it. We'll do that right after we mow. So hold on. Today was a pretty good Saturday, fertilizer wise. Check this out. This is Lesco chelated iron, 1200 liquid iron. Got the Lesco high nitrogen fertilizer. And you might be asking yourself, what in the heck is this coop poop? It's exactly what you think it is. Chicken poop. You put this down in your yard, it's organic, and it will give it a nice dark green, slow release, not over abrasive, just a nice slow organic uh, dark green will come up. And it says, this is funny, neighbor approved low odor. That's not exactly true. It is gonna smell a little bit when you water it in. So be prepared for that. Let your neighbors know in advance. So coop poop is just what it sounds like. It's literally chicken poop. And uh, they have a special way of getting it up and granulizing it so you can put it on your lawn. And it's a slow release fertilizer, purely organic. And it's really good for the environment. It's good for everybody. And it's really good to put on your lawn and you can't burn your lawn with it. So you can put as much down as you want. I'm going to put two bags down, one in the front, one in the back. And um, it always does a great job for me. So I love coop poops. Let's try it out and let's see what it does. But first, we got to mow this thing. All right, after we mow, we'll find out what's in the box. So y'all stick around, check it out. Full disclosure, unfortunately, this Lesco fertilizer, which is awesome, is not for me. I'm giving it to my brother-in-law for his birthday present, so I think he's really gonna enjoy that. I wanna give a special thanks to Bermuda Lawn Dominators for this shirt, check it out, really cool. Got the logo on the front, and look, bro, do you even mow? I mean, it doesn't get better than that. So thanks for the shirt, it's awesome, I love it, it's great. But more importantly, let's mow this thing. All right, I'm gonna mow the rest of the yard. I'm not gonna make y'all watch that. I'm gonna mow the rest and we'll get back to fertilizing. So I'll be back in one second. When I get back, the yard will be mowed and we'll be ready to lay down some organic fertilizer and check out what's in the box.
Check out how the yard's looking today. You know, sometimes you just get that sun at the perfect angle. This is one of those days. And check out my neighbor's yard too. He's been putting down my Lorganite and some other stuff. And his yard is looking good. He's pretty proud of it. And so am I, look how dark that is. He's got me beat. I'm gonna be honest with you, it's, it's about 90 degrees out here. Humidity is high. I'm sweating like crazy. It's hot, but we're gonna keep on trucking. Let's take a look at what's in this box here. It's a brand new Spreader. Now look, I know a lot of lawn guys who kind of hate on Scott's and all that, but look, this is a great home broadcast spreader. This one's under $100, and you can spend upwards of $500 or more on a spreader. So this one's under 100 bucks, and it's gonna do an awesome job for you. I even have the Scott's Edge Guard. I've used that for five or six years without a problem at all. There's a bird literally yelling at me. Yeah, but I've used the Scott's Edge Guard for like six years and it's never given me an issue, but got this new Scott Elite spreader under $100. I mean, that's a good deal. And Scott's always done me right, so I'm not gonna hate on them. Now let's see what all we gotta do to put this thing together. Now I'll just open this box up with you, with you guys. I hadn't done any cheating. So it looks like we have a little bit of assembly to do, but not much. Hopefully not much. Get our bigger wheels. I should probably read the instructions, but we'll see what happens. All right, I'm gonna speed this up a little bit for you.
Yeah, I know, I gotta clear out some grass out of my mulch area, so. I wanna be very clear. Coop poop, organics, uh, like melorganite and other things, they are awesome. But they're not a replacement for nitrogen. Water it in deep and then use your organics in between your nitrogen feedings just to kind of keep it fed throughout until it gets that next punch of nitrogen. So yeah, in the summertime, you want to start lowering down that nitrogen number, which is the first number on the bag. If you're not sure here. The first number is nitrogen and that's the one you want to uh, mainly watch out for for greening. The lower number, the less percentage of nitrogen. So this has 24% of this bag is nitrogen but I'm using the organics in between my nitrogen punches. So again, organics are awesome. Coop poop is great. Melorganite is amazing, but it's not a replacement for your nitrogen, especially in Bermuda. Come on. Can we take a minute and give a little bit of kudos to my neighbor who has his best lawn ever this year. It's looking so good. So we're putting down some nitrogen, some melorganite. I'm not sure if he's put his iron down yet, but if he hasn't, he may not even need to because it is looking dark. Awesome job, neighbor. Good job, Ryan. Super, super nice looking yard over there. That's what it's all about. Neighbors working with neighbors, making each other's yards better and better. I got the coop poop for about 15 bucks at uh, Pike. I got the spreader for under $100 on Amazon. And I'm telling you, it's working phenomenally well for a homeowner. This is a great spreader. Works well, easy to use, has a phone holder on it if, you're, if you want that for some reason. I'm sure there's an app that goes along with it, but super easy to put together. I had to put the wheels on, that's it. Done deal, but coop poop, Put it down in your yard. You can put it down every four weeks if you want to, or malorganite, switch them out. This stuff's really great. Slow release nitrogen. Coop poop. So this Scott's Elite Spreader is great. It's fantastic for a homeowner. You don't have to go out and spend two, three, four, five hundred dollars. Got this for under a hundred bucks. It's great for a homeowner. It spreads about six foot on either side of it, four to six feet. The tires are foam. They feel good, cushioned, easy ride. All the controls are super easy. You can lock in your uh, spreader so you don't have to hold down the lever the whole time. You can lock it in. You got an edge guard if you want to lay down that domination line on your neighbor. Me, I use the edge guard just because I want to be respectful of my neighbors. I don't want to put anything in their yard that they don't want or they don't know about. So I always use the edge guard and make sure that I run that nice fine edge because I don't want to put anything in my neighbor's yard that they don't want or they're not aware of. This is a great spreader. All right, neighbors. So we cut the grass, we put down some coop poop, we put some chicken poop in our yard, we checked out the new Scott's Elite spreader that I got from Amazon. We're looking good here. I appreciate y'all joining me. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, like this video if you learned anything or you enjoyed it, and uh, hit that notification bell so you don't miss another video. Neighbors, this is all about making us better, getting our lawns greener all together here. See y'all next time.
So I know my neighbor does not have a spreader. So Brian over there has been doing such a great job on his yard. It's looking awesome, all without a spreader. So I'm gonna donate my old Scott's edge guard to him tomorrow, or whenever he gets back from vacation, I'm gonna donate that to him. Hopefully he likes it, his yard's looking awesome. <laughs>